Hi! Welcome to KMath TV. In this video, we will subtract dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions with denominators that are not the same. Like our examples here, the denominators are different. Okay, let's subtract the first example. 3 fourths minus 2 sixths. In subtracting fractions with different denominators, the first step that we are going to do is to get the least common denominator or LCD and change the fractions to similar fractions. To find the LCD, we can use any of the three methods, listing method, prime factorization, and continuous division. Or we can use some techniques to find the LCD. Okay, for the first example, let's find the LCD using the prime factorization. Let's write the denominators here, 4 and 6. Now let's think of numbers that if we multiply, the product is 4. Okay, we can multiply 2 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 is a prime number. So these are the prime factors of 4. Now let's find the prime factors of 6. Let's think of numbers that if we multiply, the product is 6. Okay, we can multiply 2 and 3. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 is a prime number and 3 is also a prime number. So these are the prime factors of 6. Now let's write the prime factors of 4 and 6 here. 4 equals 2 times 2. These are prime factors of 4. And 6 equals 2 times 3. Now let's box the common prime factor or the number that is a factor of 4 and also a factor of 6. Okay, there is one pair of common factor. It is counted as 1. Now to find the least common denominator, we will multiply the common factor and the other factors. Okay, let's multiply 2 times 2 times 3. 2 times 2 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Okay, this is the LCM of 4 and 6. And we will use this as denominator. That's why it is called least common denominator. Okay, let's write the LCD. 12 minus LCD 12. Next, let's find the numerators. So let's do this. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. The numerator here is 9. Let's do the same in the subtrahend. 12 divided by 6 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. The numerator of the subtrahend is 4. These are the equivalent fractions of the given fractions. And we already changed the fractions to similar fractions. As you can see, the denominators now are the same. So we can subtract now. Okay, just subtract the numerators. 9 minus 4 equals 5. And copy the LCD 12. Okay, the answer is 5 twelfths. It is already in lowest term because the numerator and the denominator do not have other common factor aside from 1. So this is now the answer. Next, let's subtract 8 tenths minus 3 fifths. Okay, the denominators are not the same. So the first step, is to get the least common denominator or the LCD and change the fractions to similar fractions. Okay, the denominators are 10 and 5. 
This time, let's use the continuous division to find the LCD. Okay, let's write 10 and 5 here. Then think of a prime number that can divide both 10 and 5. What number can divide 10 and 5? Okay, we can divide 10 and 5 by 5. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 5 divided by 5 equals 1. The quotients 2 and 1 do not have other common factor aside from 1. So, we will stop dividing now. And to find the LCD, we will multiply the prime divisor and the quotients. Let's multiply 5 times 2 times 1. 5 times 2 equals 10 times 1 equals 10. The LCM of 10 and 5 is 10. And we will use this as denominator. That's why it is called LCD. Okay, let's write the LCD. 10 minus LCD 10. Next, let's find the numerators. Okay, to find the numerators, let's do this. 10 divided by 10 equals 1. 1 times 8 equals 8. The numerator of the minuend is 8. Let's do the same in the subterhand. 10 divided by 5 equals 2. 2 times 3 equals 6. The numerator of the subterhand is 6. Okay. These are now similar fractions. The denominators are the same. Next step is to subtract. Just subtract the numerators and copy the LCD. Okay. 8 minus 6 equals 2. And copy the LCD, 10. The answer is 2 tenths. We can still reduce this to lowest term because the numerator and the denominator are both even numbers. That means they have other common factor aside from 1. So, we need to get their GCF and divide them by their GCF to reduce the fraction to lowest term. Now, to get the GCF, let's take a look at the numerator and the denominator. The numerator is 2 and the denominator is 10. The bigger number is 10. Is 10 can be divided by 2 without a remainder? Yes, 10 can be divided by 2 without a remainder. Therefore, the GCF of 2 and 10 is 2. So, let's divide the numerator and the denominator by their GCF 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. Okay, the final answer is 1 fifth. Next problem, let's subtract 1 half minus 1 eighth. The denominators are not the same, so the first step is to get the least common denominator. Now let's use the technique in finding the least common denominator. Look at the denominators, 2 and 8. The bigger number is 8 and the smaller number is 2. Now, is the bigger number 8 divisible by 2 or can be divided by 2 without a remainder? Yes. And since the bigger number is divisible by the smaller number, therefore, the least common denominator or LCD of 2 and 8 is the bigger number, which is 8. Okay, let's write the LCD 8 minus LCD 8. Next, let's find the numerators. Okay, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. The numerator of the minuend is 4. And for the subterhand, 8 divided by 8 equals 1. 
1 times 1 equals 1. The numerator of the subtrahend is 1. Okay, the fractions now are similar fractions. The denominators are the same. So let's proceed to the next step, which is to subtract. Just subtract the numerators and copy the LCD. Okay, 4 minus 1 equals 3. And copy the LCD, 8. The answer is 3 eighths. It is already in lowest term because the numerator and the denominator do not have other common factor aside from 1. So this is now the final answer. Last example, let's subtract 2 thirds minus 3 sevenths. The similar fractions, so the first step is to get the LCD and change the fractions to similar fractions. Okay, the denominators are 3 and 7. 3 and 7 are both prime numbers. That means they don't have other common factor aside from 1. Because prime numbers are numbers with only two factors. 1 and the number itself. So, to get the LCD quickly, just multiply the numbers. 3 times 7 equals 21. The LCD is 21. Okay, let's write the LCD. 21 minus LCD 21. Next, Let's find the numerators. Okay. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. 7 times 2 equals 14. The numerator of the minuend is 14. Let's do the same in the subtrahend. 21 divided by 7 equals 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. The numerator of the subtrahend is 9. Okay, the fractions now are similar. They have the same denominators. So we can subtract now. Okay, let's subtract. Just subtract the numerators. 14 minus 9 equals 5. And copy the LCD 21. Okay, the answer is... 5 over 21. It is already in lowest term because the numerator and the denominator do not have other common factor aside from 1. So this is the final answer.